Well, I'll tell you one thing. One member of Congress certainly isn't buying what she's got to say, at least not now, at least not at face value. He wants a criminal investigation into Ms. Rice and her alleged moves. For more, I'm joined by that very congressman, Republican Congressman Rob DeSantis of Florida. Good to have you here, Congressman. Hi. What, what, what's your fear? What, what do you worry may have actually transpired? Well, she said that uh, intelligence wasn't used for political purposes. We know that's false because there were a number of leaks of classified information involving U.S. persons, including Michael Flynn, that are illegal. Nobody really disputes that. So the question is, is where did that information emanate from? And was the information that was unmasked by Susan Rice the same information that was put out to the New York Times, Washington Post, to try to kneecap politically the Trump transition and then the Trump administration? Mm -hmm. And I think I think she d dug herself more of a hole because two weeks ago she said she never had heard of any type of unmasking. By the way, do now we have that sound? I, we might have that sound that you're referring to. It was a PBS interview. Right. I'm just asking the producers. Uh, not yet, but we're, we're working on it. She did, in fact, act as though she knew nothing. Nothing about right. any of this back then, and, Congressman. And so now she's acknowledging unmasking happened, and she's acknowledging that leaks occurred. Now she's saying she didn't do anything wrong. But I think people have to ask themselves, why would the National Security Advisor need to unmask information uh, of this nature? Understand, she's a White House official. They're not conducting the investigation, whatever investigation, out of the White House. That's the purview of the FBI. You have other agencies who deal with this, NSA, CIA. So the fact that somebody like Susan Rice, who's really tied at the hip with President Obama, was the one doing it, to me, that is very suspicious. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to have this fully vetted. I mean, I've been supportive of the FBI looking at the leaking because I think that that's serious. Uh, but if there's a connection between the leaking and the unmasking, then I think you have a major, major abuse of power on your hands. Um, 